Hi everyone, so I just want to talk about something quickly uh, that I saw online recently. Um, it was basically a remark that someone had made uh, about how arguing on the internet is pointless and it's, it's, uh, it's for losers who don't have anything best to do with their time. People who get angry on the internet, you know, they're, they're just idiots, they're morons, losers. I won't say who posted it, I won't say where or the exact wording, because it doesn't matter. Because this is, this is a sentiment that gets bubbled up quite a lot on the internet. You'll be having a debate with someone back and forth and someone will just step in and say, you're arguing on the internet? God, you guys are both lame. And because they have the middle of the road opinion saying, you're both wrong, that apparently makes their views more valid. It makes them seem more reasonable, at least that's what they think it means. It's such a snotty way of dismissing what people are talking about. This comment wasn't made directly at me or anyone I know, it was just something I saw on the internet. But because I vlog about politics and civil rights and society and culture and all these different things, um, that you could comfortably describe at least some aspects of it as quite uh, dense, technical, um, esoteric, issues. People act as if you're never going to change someone's mind on the internet. You're never going to have an effect by arguing with some anonymous person if you're doing it through Facebook or YouTube. And they come swaggering along saying, hey, I don't do this. This is not something I do. I don't involve myself in discussions, debates, or arguments online, and therefore I'm smarter than you. I have... I have all the smart. And I see this sentiment over and over again, and seeing it recently has prompted this video, because a few days ago, I was working at my job, and I was sweeping the floor when some guests, some customers, walked by, and I, you know, shuffled to the side and kept sweeping at one side, and then I felt a tap on my shoulder, and before I could even turn around, this guy had come in front of me, and he said, just want to let you know, I really love your videos on YouTube. And I was obviously very, very happy about this. I do get recognized from time to time. It's a good feeling, you know? You feel like you've been recognized, it's quite cool. Um, bearing in mind, I had actually been recognized uh, from Fratocrats, which is my other channel, um, twice before at this job. Within two weeks of, of this particular instance, of this particular occurrence of someone recognizing me. And so I had to ask, what videos do you mean? Do you mean my videos on Layton Way or my videos on Fratocrats? I asked him, what videos do you mean? And he said, well, lots of videos, but one in particular, the one you did about whether uh, the UK is a Christian country, which is obviously a video I did on this channel on Layton Way. So I was about to go, oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Before I could say anything, though, he said, that video got me into university. And I was like... What? And he explained to me that on one of the tests that he was doing during college, and I'm not explaining the differences between the American and the British version of college. If you're an American and you're confused by the difference between British colleges and British universities, just Google it, alright? But he said at the end of his time at college, he was sitting an exam, and one of the questions on this exam, uh, I can't remember what he said the exact wording of it was, but it was something... Uh, resembling to what extent is Britain a secular country or to what extent uh, has Christianity shaped modern Britain something like that and he said that he had watched my video on that uh, the, the night before and because he would watched that video he was able to use the information that I'd given him to answer that question far better than he would have had been able to without having watched my video. And so he got a really good mark on this exam, which gave him enough UCAS points to get into university. I don't know the full context of exactly what got him into university, but going just by what he told me, and he said that that video got him into university, Oh my god! I've had people sending me messages, people commenting on my videos, saying that they really enjoy my videos, p saying that I've, I've changed their minds on something, they're gonna start doing something, and they're gonna stop doing something, that they've stopped believing something, they've started believing something, and that they credit me for doing that, for getting them to, to change their opinion or their, their way of life in whatever way, in some way or another. People telling me that they really, really value my videos, and they're so glad that they found me on YouTube, and I absolutely love getting those comments, and getting those PMs, and getting those video responses. But for someone to actually recognize me, outside of YouTube, and then tell me that one of my videos helped them pass a college-level academic test to the point where it actually helped them get into university, and going by what he said was the actual reason 
that he got into university. I didn't know what to say. I just kind of... <laughs> I just kind of gobbled some kind of thanks response. And then he, sh he stuck out his hand, and I shook his hand, and he went off with his friends. And it took about ten minutes for me to properly process what I'd just been told. Something I made on YouTube, something I posted on the internet, as a response to David Cameron saying that Britain was a Christian country. Something I made based on something he said, and then posted to the internet, has had a really positive effect on one person's life. An effect that has actually had positive academic effects. It helped him pass a college level academic exam. And again, I don't know the full extent of this situation regarding the exams he took that got him into university. I can only really go by what he told me. But based on what he told me, wow. So the idea that what you post online doesn't matter and that uh, talking to people on the internet and arguing with people on the internet, debating people on the internet is pointless and it's just for nerdy losers who have nothing better to do is ridiculous. Yes, there are some stupid debates and stupid arguments that people get into online that are indeed pointless and are stupid. But that does not mean that all of them are. And some of the responses that I've got from people, ranging from a guy telling me that one of my videos helped him to get into university, all the way to the other side of the spectrum of people just telling me that they really enjoy my videos. That makes it all worth it. And it makes me think that the kind of people who say that nothing you say on the internet has any relevance or importance or changes anyone else's life are the kind of people that just don't have anything interesting to say on the internet. <laughs>